All right, YouTube, so we wrapped up day one and day two of orientation. Tomorrow is day three of orientation. Gotta go over to Marathon, take another oil field class. I don't know how long it's supposed to last for, but gotta be there at eight in the morning. Um, I think I did it before in the past. <laughs> I hope it ain't four hours, but. So for day one of orientation, let's recap. You come in, you do your drug test, you do an alcohol test, you do a road test through the mountains with the guy, the actual guy that does the road test, he's gonna be in the truck with you. You gotta know how to shift the 18 speed through all the gears up and down the mountains. Uh, you know, if you ask me, it's extremely easy. It wasn't no challenge to me. I went first because, you know, I volunteered to go first. It wasn't no challenge to me. So, you know, uh, some of you guys asking where did I learned to drive 18 speed from or can I do a tutorial on how to shift an 18 speed? Uh, yeah, I know I got 13 speed trucks, so that's, that's pretty much the same thing as 18 speed. Want you to how to flip the flip the uh what you got to split gears that's that's pretty much all there's to it so i would say i got five years of driving at 18 speed that's my experience with it as far as the trailer i did learn that these are not straight board tanker trailers it's uh they got baffles in them so you know that's one thing i learned the trailers got baffles i don't know if they all got baffles or just the one that i got got baffles but they not straight ball from what I understand. So, did the road test, knocked all that out the park. Day two, watching videos, taking quizzes, uh, redoing your oil field certifications, PEC, Safe Land, H2S. You gotta redo all that, then go to Marathon, do they oil field classes, and uh, all of this stuff take hours to do, you know. Uh, a lot of this stuff, man, uh, I ain't done it so long because, you know, when I was running my authority, I used to just go over to Miko house, pay him $40, and just like that, we had all the certifications we need for me and everybody else around me, $40, get you all the certifications you need, but, you know, back at a uh, company now, so, got how uh, bored it could be so you know uh, went to the class the objective for me was to try not to fall asleep and huh, yeah I was snoring in class I know some of my subscribers said I, I was snoring in class I was trying to stay woke I couldn't stay woke I didn't know what they were talking about man the class you know you know boring it was flat out boring. I couldn't stay woke for nothing, man. I said, man, what are we listening to? <laughs> it was a live class, too, man. They had the camera on me and everything, man. I'm just, I'm just sleep, just sleep. They calling on me. I'm trying to ask people what, what's the question was again. Or, it was horrible, man. But got through all that shoe shine. And uh, now don't mind me for falling asleep in class, okay? A lot of the information they talking about, H2S and all that PEC stuff, I already know the information, okay? A lot of them questions that they asking, I can just jump straight to the test and pass the test. I don't have to review anything. I already know the majority of the answers, so you better not fall asleep in class. You need to stay woke. But anyways, we got marathon class tomorrow. Like I said, I think I did it before. Pretty sure I did it. Uh, I want to say I did it in South Texas. I don't know if it's the same thing though, but that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Then I'm supposed to get with a trainer tomorrow, and I'm gonna ride with the trainer in his truck. And uh, I guess we're gonna do some loads together, see what that's like. And then Thursday, I think I'm supposed to follow the trainer with my truck, do some more loads. And I guess Friday I'm on my own. So, well, they didn't really talk about Friday. That's just what I'm assuming. All I know is training is two days. So, I don't know if we can do more training after that. So, you know, I haven't seen 
nobody personally unload or load the water tank with my own eyes. I just see videos on YouTube, so I don't know if it's something I can just learn in one to two days. We'll figure that part out. Uh, went to the store earlier today. Got a bunch of food for the truck because they calling for uh, snow tomorrow. They talking about three, four inches of snow. Let's just hope it missed this area. But that's what they're talking about, three, four inches. So I jumped in the car and when it got me food, water, and everything I need up in here because the Challenger don't drive in snow. So, you know, it's supposed to snow tomorrow and I think the next day. And the temperature is supposed to drop down to, I see like 18 degrees, but I don't know how strong the wind is, the wind is gonna be. You know, it's 18 degrees minus whatever the wind is. So maybe zero degrees, but so far, it's only, since I've been here, it's been about 32 degrees. And the clothes that I brought, the snow pants with the negative 60 degree jacket with like a, just a basic cotton shirt like this, that, hey, that worked at 30 degrees for me, so. Uh, the pants definitely work. The snow pants that I got for thirty-two dollars. Don't know when you get through that. And uh, of course, the coat with just a regular shirt underneath worked perfect. So, so far so good. But as the temperatures drop, we'll see uh, if we need to switch some things up or what. Uh, a lot of people are recommending that you get the Under Armour 4.0s before you come out here. Like I hear, you know, they're $100 each. I end up taking mine back. But uh, after talking to all the drivers, you need that. You need the Under Armour 4.0s. You need the shirt. You need the pants. They're $100 each. You need that because in the wintertime, the way it's explained to me, when those temperatures drop to negative 20, negative 30, negative 40, and you outside working, you start sweating from moving the hoses or doing whatever you're doing, just basic activities. The Under Armour 4.0s pull the sweat off your body so you don't freeze, okay? If you don't have a mold, you start sweating and it's negative 40 degrees outside, you're probably going to die, okay? So you need something to pull the sweat away off your skin. That's what the Under Armour 4.0s is for. So you can use those or you can use Merino wool. I got Merino wool in the truck, so that's what I'm using instead of Under Armour 4.0s. They're both the same price, though, $100. You get the heavyweight division. Another thing I learned, we can't use the trucks for personal use, so we can't, like, go to the store in the trucks or anything like that, uh, unless it's on your route, whatever route you want. You can uh, stop at the truck, stop at stuff. Uh, I don't know what the point of that is. I, you know, I just learned that today. So, you know, that's something new. Interesting. I find that interesting. Okay. Can't use the truck for personal use. Okay. What do y'all call me buying this on that grocery store video? Look, I, I got the I got the 32 pack of water. Come on now. I only bought one. I only bought this to go with the food, man. The food was good, by the way. I just bought this to wash the food down right quick because the water wasn't cold. I was, I'm not cheating, man. It's just one. Shoot. What y'all caught that? I didn't drink all of it yet. What else did we learn? Y'all forgive me, I'm sleepy. It's 11 o'clock at night, but y'all ain't gonna see this video until tomorrow morning. So, they call it for snow, like I said. Three to four inches. Let's hope it don't hit here. Oh, as far as driving a car out here, I recommend if you do come out here, whatever you need to get while you driving your vehicle, if you don't know the area, Make sure it's daytime when you go get whatever you need. Now, I went to a store at night in my Challenger, and as many times as I had to bust a U turn in the middle of the road because I couldn't see the road, the GPS will say, you know, zero point. 
0.1 miles make a left. But it ain't no street lights out here. So, you know, you come up on the, on the street and you don't even see it. Like, you look in, you let the window down, you look at all you see is grass and you can't tell what a street is at. And, like, I done went past, like, the street just to get here. I done passed it, like, four, five times. I had to keep busting the U-turn. Like, where's the street at? So, yeah, just daytime. Daytime. Now, if you, uh, if you can't drive at night, this ain't the job for you. If you can't drive at 18 speed, this ain't the job for you. That's another thing, man. In Texas, we're not working down now. Back in 2017, we had a lot of Peterbilt action down there. We even had some super sleepers down there. Uh, I said by by 2019, all that stuff disappeared. Well, now that I'm up here in North Dakota, I see why all the Peterbilts were. All the Peterbilts is up here. They only got Peterbilts in North Dakota. Everything is 379, 389, or W900. That's all they got over here. I'm like, man, okay, that's why all the Texas Peterbilts went. This is who the people are. This, every time, you know every time some roll through the auction, now you see one of these old Peterbilts roll through the auction, them O2s, them O3s. You know, they be going for like $40,000. You're like, man, who in the world buying that? Huh. Who's buying it? Huh. They all up here in North Dakota making a killing. Huh. Huh. 97. 98. I got a 2003. Over here, he got a 02. Everybody got the 379 Peach with the Cat 610 Z. Some of them single turbos, some of them double turbos. I see one of the shop they doing a, uh, oh, uh, a rebuild on one of the shop. That one got two turbos. That's the A search. So uh, they all up here. Not at this company in particular. I'm just saying, like, when I left this company and went visiting, every every other company I saw the competition, they got the 379 Peterbilt's too. So it appears everything is 18 speed. A lot of y'all got questions in the comments. Y'all won't answer. Andrew, why did you have to go back company? Andrew, what happened to your trucks? Andrew, what's going on? Uh, check this out, guys. See, uh, all of January, I talked about North Dakota. I, I, I talked about North Dakota. Went on different websites, showing you guys job listings up here. I even showed you the job listing I'm at right now. I just didn't tell you I was taking a job, but you know, I, I did a review on this company. Then I gave you a way to email me if you wanted to know exactly where I worked at. Then I showed you the type of clothing I was buying. We talked about the trailers, we talked about the pump. And when February hit, when I got up here, all the videos are gone, so don't ask me no questions. No, it's too late. Don't ask me those times. You, you had all of January. You had all of January. We was discussing that. Uh, some of you guys I hear the block because you kept talking about, oh, man, he must be out of content. Nope, not out of content. Nope. Nope, that was, that was the pre-videos before we get up here. <laughs> what not a content? I already knew I was coming. Those was just the pre-videos. <laughs> now you don't got them no more, so don't ask me no questions. If you want a job, this is part of the gatekeeper. Okay, the gate. See, the information was out and there. It's gone. You see, we closed. I had to close the gate behind me, guys. Once I got up here, I had to close the gate behind me. So I gave out the information. So don't say I ain't never give it to you. I gave out the information, man. I just when they let me in the gate, I had to close. They, they, they say I had to close the gate. Close the gate back. I, I, oh, close. I had to close the gate back. And close gate. They had something. You got go knock on the gate and start asking questions. Start asking questions. I don't know. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Nine out of boo boo. You know. But I'm in North Dakota, though. If you tell you, I tell you that much. It's time you got to do your own research. I, I did the research for you. But you weren't paying no attention to me. You wouldn't see. You weren't paying no attention. You weren't watching my channel. But Andrew, I'm a subscriber. I watch all your videos. Where you at, Andrew? No, you see, you ain't watching all my videos. You wouldn't be asking those type of questions because I gave everybody the opportunity to email me and I'll tell you exactly where I'm at. But because that video ain't online no more, you don't need to know. You don't know. You don't need to know. It's part of the gatekeeper. It's part of the gatekeeper. Oh, 
a serious note. I can't teach you guys how to drive an 18 speed. I can't teach you guys how to do any type of mountain driving, how to drive at night, how to drive in the snow, how to drive in the ice, how to survive these ridiculous temperatures out here. You know, uh, my trainer gonna show me how to throw these uh, triple chains on, on both the dual tires. Cause we gotta do a lot of training out here. They got the frost law within the fed today. I don't even know what the frost law, what it is. I had to go and figure it out myself. I said, what the hell is the frost law? You gonna figure out what the frost law is when you violate it, fool. <laughs> they said three to four inches of snow is coming, right? The frost law of North, North Dakota is in effect for semi trucks, okay? Now you go on Google and figure out what that is. So that's going in effect. As far as DOT, there ain't no DOT out here if you're working on the reservation. I'm on the, I work on the reservation, so we deal with the, with the reservation police. Once you leave out of the reservation, then you deal with DOT. But on the reservation, there is no DOT. That's why they don't have to run EODs and all that stuff because they're on the reservation. So they only deal with the reservation police. If you get any tickets or fines, anything like that, you have to pay the reservation. Uh, they, the Indians and all that, they get the, not my bad, the Native Americans get the money and, you know, this reservation. So, you know, it's basically the Wild Wild West from what I'm seeing. Now that we got that out the way, any more questions that I can think of? How is the cell phone service? Well, to upload a YouTube video like this, for example, it's probably going to take me about an hour. So, it's going to take about an hour. They told me I need Verizon. I ain't got Verizon yet. I did buy that SIM card. I got to put it on the phone to activate it to see if it works. If it don't work, there is a Verizon up here. It's uh, it's about 30 minutes from here. So I won't be, you know, not without a phone if I have to go and get a phone from Verizon. It's about 30 minutes from here beside another grocery store because I need to go back to the grocery store. Man, I got the ham, I got the bread, I got the mayonnaise. I ain't got no cheese. Can't make a ham sandwich with no cheese? Yo. I need the cheese. Got the potatoes and got the butter. Ham, no cheese. Peanut butter, no jelly. This is crazy. Anyways, I'm finna get some sleep, man. It's hot as hell in here. Well, they know how to make the heat work up in these trucks, I tell you that. 3,000 watt inverter. We got a uh, microwave, refrigerator. Refrigerator, uh, Oh, that's another story right there. That's another story, boy. I need to throw that refrigerator out and give me a new one. It's, the refrigerator is, if you ask me, it's useless. It do get cold. The refrigerator get cold, but the refrigerator is this damn big, right? But when you open the door, it's this small on the inside. The hell is going on? I said, this is crazy. It's crazy, man. Is this... Some type of dealership option? Yeah, just throw this out the window. Go to Walmart, pay them $140, you get a refrigerator with, with space in it. We need space. There ain't no space in this thing. You know, but I ain't complaining though. You know, I got my milk in there. Got the ham in there. You can put the water bottles in there. Uh, one more thing before I go. driving on any type of lease roads and you got food in the refrigerator the door gonna always keep popping open how you can avoid that before you even go to any type of oil field job go on amazon to get you the refrigerator lots i just showed y'all with a classic how it works but uh you can put it on this wire has got a wire stick it on the side wire keeps the door from coming open hey you ain't got to worry about hitting no type of bump and all your food coming out and then like that the door gonna stay closed it can't open that's 
what I bought. It was $15. I just got to install it. I don't even know if I'm going to put it on here, though, because this, like I said, this first right here, junk. Throw this shit out the window. I ain't even going to say nothing. I'm just going to throw it out the window. Keep on going. Yeah. But Walmart is two hours away. That's so sad, boy. That's woo. Walmart is two hours away. Say, Andrew, man, how you buy your food? <laughs> you remember that, that truck stop I just did the video at? Yeah, it's on the reservation. That's why it looks so nice and so big on the inside. Well, how much is the reservation? What they food prices looking like? They busting you upside the head, fool. And they got a casino. I saw the casino. Four, four beer casino or something. I saw the casino. It was packed. It was packed. I didn't stop to go here, though. There a lot of police out there in Newtown, and my windows are so tinted that I, I don't need no reservation police or tickets, you know what I'm talking about? I heard if you get a ticket on the reservation, you gotta pay it in cash right there and now. Uh, yeah, I ain't got time to play them games right there. Look, we don't even walk around with cash. I ain't finna go no ATM, you ain't give me like that, so, you know, what we gonna do if we get pulled over, we might have to hot it on them, baby! <laughs> 